What's going on everybody? So it is 5.30 in the morning. We're going to be going on a road trip today to Noakali, Bangladesh. Actually, the part of Noakali is uh, Company Gonj. So, you know, just uh, enjoy the journey with me. All right, so even us leaving right now at 5.30 in the morning, we're still kind of late in terms of getting out. Um, when it comes to Bangladesh and especially Dhaka, there is no predicting when there is traffic and when there is not traffic. Because hopefully this journey is a quick one. But yeah, let's see what this road trip is looking like. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the scenic areas on route. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so as you can see, we are getting started on our journey. And it's going to be a long one, guys. It should be like four plus hours. So this is just a preview of, you know, us trying to get out of Dhaka. Hopefully the journey out of Dhaka isn't a crazy bad one. The car is fully loaded, guys. See, we've got someone in the front seat. Obviously, we've got the driver. I mean full house. I don't even mean just the people. I mean, look at the bags. The condition of the bags. My grandma over there. Conditions of the bag is crazy right now. So there's like, yeah, this car probably has more than uh, you know a ton in the car right now, including the people. We put all the heavy set people in the middle. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We're gonna get breakfast in some restaurant that my dad's been going on about. So hopefully it's good. Right, so this is like a random gas station. It's kind of like a truck stop-ish kind of thing. So, boom. This is what it's looking like over here, you know? So yeah, we're just kind of uh, stopping. We had some people that had to use the bathroom. And I'm not gonna lie, I gotta kinda use it myself, but I could hold it, it's fine, but, you know? It's kind of an issue, especially you know when you got elderly people, you gotta use the bathroom. When you gotta go, you gotta go. We all gonna get there one day. No issues, but yeah guys, this is kind of what the gas stations over here are looking like. Alright, we actually came to some restaurant. That's our car right there. We came to this very popular restaurant. It's kind of like a rest stop slash restaurant. Um, they have like a whole bunch of stores and stuff, but it's called Miami Leisure Spot. So, interestingly enough, before we came here, everyone kept saying Miami, Miami. And I was like, yo, what is Miami? Sounds like kind of like Miami. And what do you know? It actually is Miami. So, yeah, interesting name, interesting name. But, see they got, it's kind of like a rest stop over here. Got a whole lot of cars and whatnot. Boom. Car is parked, ready to go. All right guys, so inside the rest stop, there's like a little stationary store and then they got, you know, some bathrooms and stuff. And then of course we got the actual restaurant itself over here. So I see they got some ice cream. And then they got some pastries, and it's like they got some mishti over here. Mishti, which is some sweets, if you didn't know. And then, boom, we got the spot right here. That's what the seating arrangements is looking like. Boom, so at this place, there is the popular, the most popular dish here is a beef, uh, beef kichuri. I mean, I didn't really want to do it, but at the same time, everyone was raving about how good the beef uh, kitchen is. So, uh, whatever, you know, I might as well. And uh, the beef kitchen is pretty good, supposedly, according to everybody. It's really good. And it's the specialty of this restaurant. So, that's what I'm going to get, beef kitchen, even though it's 8 in the morning. 
and I never would usually have rice at 8 in the morning, but first time for everything, guys. Let's see how it is. All right, this is the world famous beef kitchen. Looks good. It's all it's all like pressed in. Boom, let me let me show you guys how the hand washing going over here. I mean, I use the fork. Do you angle like? Ooh, somebody dropped something. Thank you, thank you, brother. And right away, instantly, my tea is here. So my tea came instantly. Boom. Cheers. I'm the Zani. I'm the Gumaber. I already bully Filsi. I'm in the hall. 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 Separate, separate. Everyone's telling me that um, when I fell asleep in the car, I was snoring up a storm. I was like, yo, I did warn you guys that I am indeed a snorer. So it is what it is. I told them, I told them before I fell asleep that if I sleep, nobody else is going to sleep. But cheers, guys. We're going to get back out on the road after this tea. Straight Norcadla style. Look, everyone ate and they all dipped. The only people remaining is me and my pops. I told them, I told the servers that even though I'm sitting as head of the table, we go to go to that guy with the bill. That's that's the guy that's gonna pay the bill. In usual Bangladesh fashion, electricity all out. And they said the generator about to kick in right now. But it's all good. We finished eat slow looking balatago. Anyways, we ate and whatnot. Anyways, so we good. We good, we good. Oof. As soon as I came out of the AC, it's feeling hot. But yeah, we about to get back on the road just now. All right, back on the road we go. We all nice and full and time to get going. Fortunately, this window is like a little bit foggy and not the best, but it's really nice seeing like the empty fields and everything like that. Uh, I've been in Dhaka the whole time, so didn't see much of this. It's looking nice. My pops took the front seat, bro, or else I'd be in the front with a much nicer view. So my mom was saying that these cows look super anorexic, uh, but I was like, yo, you just missed it right before this. There was bunch of large sized cows but yeah she's right about this though like these cows right here they're looking like they barely be eating how are you gonna sell them they... <laughs> he's trying mad hard <laughs> he's trying mad hard to stay awake but he's sleep boy my boy sleep <laughs> this is looking beautiful here a lot of open fields. We have got to Nokali, right? It's the Nokali, right? Nokali. It's the Eta Jagan Nampeki? Eta, huh? Asole. This is a place called. Oh, this is Dagormia. Dagormia Feni. Feni is Nokali. You know, one part about this country that I don't like is the way that they kind of just throw garbage everywhere. There's no. There's no good waste management system, you know. I'm about to come over here and start a waste management company or something that can kind of, you know, keep this in, uh, keep all this garbage in order, honestly, because the garbage situation in this country is out of hand. Officially in the village, as you guys can see, it's a lot more nature. Yeah, you can see like village. Some people got tin houses, and then some people got mansions. So it's a big discrepancy as far as who has what. You see all the greenery, all the beautifulness out here. 
then look, this guy got a mansion, and then there's ten houses, you know? So it's like a huge discrepancy as far as the housing out here. But this guy over here is building a huge house right there. This is a, a tin house over here. Like, look, this is somebody's house, guys. So that's a tin house, and then right next to the tin house, look in the front over there, is like a much, much bigger house. You know, like, look at, look at that house over there. Like, so there's, look, look at, look at this house. It's a huge house over here. And then like right next to that house, next door to it, you see a tin house. So there's huge discrepancies in terms of how the houses over here look. But yeah, guys, this is just a preview of the village. All right, look, check out some more of the tin houses. Look, you got tin houses, and then you got bigger houses like this, with big, big um, properties. Got some open fields. Yeah, natural view. See over here, over here, this is not like Dhaka. You literally get like natural, natural views. Like look, this guy's working on his place. Like it's honestly, I'm, I'm, I really very much like this a lot more than the Dhaka because honestly, I love this nature all the nature over here versus over there it's all buildings it's all congested so many cars but over here is like yeah there's tin houses yeah there's poverty but there's so many there's so much nature I'm missing out on ac to get this view but we're trying to get this view baby wow like i'm in love with you know just being in nature honestly because this whole time I've been in the city this whole time all these weeks three weeks I've been in in like straight congestion so the fact that I'm able to see this much beautiful nature ooh, this is beautiful I'm excited for the couple days that I'm in the village and this is gonna be an enjoyable time all right, so we're actually on the way to my Dadarbadi, aka like my father's house and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the little road trip that I took. So check out the next video where I show you a, a tour of my my dad's place over here in Bangladesh. All right, guys, excited, excited. Look you where we're at. We're at my. Another one. Alright guys, so boom, we are here. So check out my next video um, on the tour of the house itself. Alright, thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments. Or if you just want to say hello, uh, feel free to do that. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one of the tour of my house. So check that out.